Welcome to Mount Calvary Lutheran Church and School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Pastor Dan Chapleski, and it's my privilege to have you join us for Bible class today. Uh, today we continue again with our Mount Calvary Classics. We have uh, Pastor Elmer A. Neitzel teaching on Colossians. Uh, this class was originally recorded in 1995 on videotape. It has since been digitized and we've been able to uh, provide it to you both uh, on our Facebook Live and our website, and we also have a YouTube channel. If you do watch this on YouTube, a subscription to YouTube is greatly appreciated. Just to tell you a little bit about this class, this is actually a discussion that goes on between Pastor Neitzel and members of the Bible class. Uh, the discussion revolves around something they're calling social gospel. Now, let me just explain. This is not social gospel in perhaps the more conventional sense of that word. But what they mean by the phrase social gospel is helping to meet people's real needs. And they kind of go back and forth on preaching the gospel and helping people in their physical needs in the community. Uh, it's, a, it's a good discussion. It's a discussion that I believe remains timely. It is always a balance between the, the work of the church that proclaims God's grace and mercy in Jesus Christ and at the same time is involved in the real needs and the real lives of people. I think you'll appreciate this uh, uh, little snapshot in time from over 25 years ago and, and find it extremely relevant. The discussion kicks off with uh, Mr. Bob Powell, who's uh, now uh, gone to be with Jesus, but Bob Powell, during his decades at Mount Calvary, was uh, Mr. Evangelism. There were, there were several people who, who, who filled that role, but uh, Bob was certainly one of those who was out making calls regularly in the neighborhood, even cold calls. He had a heart for reaching the lost in our community. And he, he pushes back a little bit on the idea of social gospel, in, in meaning that, that if we're going to be out there talking to people about Jesus, we have to care for their real needs. I think you'll find uh, this particular uh, discussion helpful and worthwhile. Uh, we now join that Bible class uh, kind of in progress and the discussion between Pastor Neitzel and various members of uh, the class at the time. Uh, also, they have a guest, Mr. and Mrs. Hammes, who had been longtime members and then moved away, uh, were in Bible class that day, and he does give kind of a shout out to them. Uh, so maybe they'll enjoy that as well. Uh, God bless you as you uh, enjoy this Bible class from 1995. Any other that respect, then, if you will want to help 
other people in the world. All right, this is what we're trying to teach here. That as long as we do not forget exactly what you just said, and this is what we're going to emphasize as we go along in this letter. Sir, did you, did you come here? We won't and have others. I've always uh, seen the gospel, preaching the gospel. Well, so, the social gospel is just a further aspect of just an extension of preaching the gospel. If, if you're going to uh, preach and live the gospel in its entirety, then the social gospel is just another part of it. If, if your life is a living, you give a daily testimony, your life is, is lived and living. A living witness by doing the things that the gospel expects or, or, or entreats us to do. And social gospel is just an extension of the preaching gospel. That's All the right, I, I'll accept that. Sure. It's a very fine way of putting it. Mm -hmm. We'll be discussing things like that as we go along in this letter. Yes, sir.
That's the purpose of good works. They are the fruits of faith. Good works are the fruits of faith. Any other comments? Before we close, yes, Bob? Actually, we don't have to show a good work. God knows when you do a good work. He's the one that's it's important. He knows when you do a good work. We do, we do a good work to reflect our faith to other people. That's it. Oh, you said the right thing. To reflect our faith to other people. God knows the good works that you do. But the importance of the good works that you do are important to other people so that, that they reflect your faith. That's the important thing. But it's only, let me emphasize here, according to the scriptures, that we are saved by faith. We are not saved by faith and good works. This is really what we're getting at. Um, we can carry on this discussion endlessly. Uh, the purpose of this discussion and the, the taking of this test is to sti stimulate your interest in this epistle. We're going to have discussions like this. We're going to run into roadblocks into some of the problems that the Colossian congregation had. And this is why I gave this kind of a test, in order to show you the purpose of the Colossian epistle to be a source of our study. I want to take notice here, above everything else, of our pleasure to have with us Mr. and Mrs. Hemis this morning. Uh, come again. In fact, we have more people here because you're here this morning. <laughs> they must have known that you're going to be here. And I want to welcome you in the name of our Lord. Uh, it's just a joy in my heart. I have nothing but uh, wonderful thoughts about my association through the years with these people. Happy to see you. Norman. Are they coming back to Mount Calvary? <laughs> He's an enterprise individual. God go with you in your return. You're leaving us on Wednesday? Hmm. Okay. Have it your own way. <laughs> okay, we'll close with the apostolic benediction. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Pray that that uh, discussion was worthwhile for you uh, and to delve into the book of Colossians and looking at the importance of Christ and the atonement, uh, that God's saving us by grace through faith in Christ, uh, that that uh, is so critical for us. As we close, would you join your hearts with me in a word of prayer? Gracious and good God, we thank you for your word, that it has taken root in our hearts and that it has uh, become active in our lives. Bless us as we not only share the gospel and saving message of Christ, but be about caring for your people in their real physical needs. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless your week.